Hi, I'm Martha West and the reason I'd like to come on this trip is because it's a once in a lifetime chance to come to America and experience um, experience a presidential election which I undoubtedly probably won't get a chance to later in life. It also is an amazing opportunity for me to get involved in politics. I do, I am marginally involved in politics in Britain. Um, I'm a member of the Labour Party and I sometimes go to the House of Commons to watch debates. Um, but American politics is something that I probably will never get a chance to be involved in as I'm not an American citizen. And it, the politics of America so hugely shapes the politics of the rest of the world that to be able to witness and have my part in such an enormous um, event would be um, invaluable to me. Um, I, wish, I hope to go on to study politics and international relations or perhaps politics and anthropology at university. So um, to have an insight before I embark on my um, university career uh, will just be amazing. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges that I will face um, on this trip going to America is um, addressing issues that aren't, uh, don't exist in the UK, um, such as abortion and gun control. Um, in the UK, abortion before the age of 24 weeks has been um, legal and pretty much undisputed in politics since 1967, whereas um, even more liberal Republican candidates such as Marco Rubio um, want it to be abolished even on the grounds of incest and um, rape um, and that is an issue that I'll be interested to um, hear the opinions of both sides um, as well as obviously uh, gun control is not much of a problem here seeing as guns are illegal so uh, gun crime is very limited and um, I know that one of the biggest issues um, that even has caused more deaths than terrorism in the USA is gun crime. Um, so I would be really interested, even though slightly challenged by um, addressing that issue. I think the main main challenge for me though will be um, if I happen to campaign for Donald Trump. Um, I disagree with a lot of his um, tactics and views. Um, I think that um, his blanketing of the 1.6 million um, Muslim population as a, a danger to the US and to people who hate the West is quite astounding and, um, and racist. Um, but I will be happy to, or interested, to um, hear and embrace the opinions of the people that have voted for Trump because after all America's a republic and so the people's vote should be the people's president and um, I understand that Trump is um, is primarily um, liked for his uh, business skill um, that will probably boost trade relations in America and his um, cut his reforms on immigration which may um, make a better working society for the, Ameri for the Americans. Yeah, so I just, um, my ideal presidential ticket, um, that is quite a hard thing for me to answer because I don't feel like I know the ins and outs of American politics quite well enough to yet to know what qualities it exactly makes the perfect president and I know it's very different to what would make the perfect prime minister. Um, I think though, um, from the rise of the sort of depoliticised candidate with Trump um, constantly repeating in his re rhetoric that he is wants to distance himself from the politician and he's a businessman for, uh, first of all, I think the fact that he does that, he uses his rhetoric to incite violence and intolerance in his crowds that um, I feel like that is a rising issue in America, um, especially with the movement of Black Lives Matter, um, with more and more uh, innocent black people being killed or detained for no reason. Um, one in uh, black um, 
that out of the people who were killed by pol uh, police officers, um, the black victims are twice as likely to not be armed, which I think is a big problem. And obviously with the likes of Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, it's uh, a problem that really needs to be addressed and I feel like has not been addressed nearly enough considering we have an African-American president in at the moment. So for that reason, I would put my president as Brian Stevenson, the lawyer who uh, founded um, the Equal Justice um, uh, movement and uh, has uh, repeatedly represented people on black uh, people on death row, and himself has has experienced racism from policemen. And I feel like the stories that I have read um, of his of meeting the people who are detained really illuminate the problems in the American justice system, which I'm sure in many cases we have here too. And I think that he would make a real difference. My vice president would be um, Al Gore because I haven't uh, ex lived through many presidents but I did watch An Inconvenient Truth and I did read quite a lot about the Bush versus Gore um, situation and I feel like another big issue that we need to address other than racial equality and clamping down on violence is um, the environment and he is the ultimate candidate for that. Thank you. <laughs>